What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WDYDCSP. What do you do as a central store processor? All right, guys, let's break down a printout. So bear with me here, guys. All right, so we're looking at a low temperature uh, printout. So what do we see here? On the very top, it's going to tell you what cycle you picked, when it was done, time and date. The next line is how many times that sterilizer has been run throughout its life. The sterilizer name is also on there, so you can change this function. So this one happens to be called sterilizer number six, HP6. Okay, you got a serial number. If you have it a breakdown, that is where you find the information to give up. The lot number and the expiration of the actual chemistry in the sterilizer is right there. Okay. The next line is the operator who started the machine and then the lot number uh, that you place on each device. So it tells you that when it was date, what sterilizer and what load. So where do I find that load? I showed you the sterilizer name, but the load number should match the printout. That load count is not the load cycle. It's the load right there. See that load? Now, it's a really long number, but the last number is the one that correlates with the cycle. So this is sterilizer number six, load number nine. All right. The next line is going to show you time, temperature, and pressure. Okay. This is similar to a steam sterilizer. Okay. The time it took to sterilize, um, the temperature at which you should be held, and then the pressure. Now, just like a steam sterilizer, there are certain parameters that need to be met. Okay, you have the conditioning phase where the unit is actually um, analyzing the package. Okay, so if there's a lot of air in that package, if there's some moisture in there, the conditioning phase is getting that package ready for sterilization. And if it exceeds the ability of the unit, an abort will happen during the conditioning phase. Okay, so this shows you how much conditioning and then the S stands for sterilization or exposure time. Depending on the unit, it'll be an S or it'll say E or it'll spell out exposure. Okay, that temperature is extremely important. Um, and then you look at the pressure. Please be familiar with the pressure of your units and how many pulses um, in a cycle because you can recognize if something's going wrong if that pressure's off. All right. You have an aeration time with this type of sterilizer here. Okay. That removes the residual hydrogen peroxide in the chamber and on the off the package. And then Z, I'm not sure what Z stands for. It means the end of the cycle. So down here in the bottom and you see doing the Z is the highest pressure um, to base, basically remove all of that, those gases. Now this is like a um, summary of what went on during your cycle, your conditioning time, your sterilization time, your aeration time, and then the total time of the procedure. Conditioning can fluctuate depending on the package size and what's going on inside of that package. For this cycle right here, it was non-lumen. 18 is about the average time for how much um, hydrogen peroxide's in that chamber. And then of course, a signature for completion. Let's take a look at steam sterilizers. Steam sterilizers are pretty much the same because this is the same company, right? So their format is exactly the same. So depending on your uh, uh, product and your uh, manufacturer, it may look differently. So this is a steam sterilization cycle and we're running the type of steam sterilizer pre-vacuum. Again, it shows when it was started, the date. It gives you how many times this machine was ran, the operator initial, the sterilizer name. Again, this one's called VAC4, the serial number that you report out if something's wrong with the unit. Now, this gives you a um, initial uh, what is the parameters that you picked okay so this was going to be a 270 degree cycle it gives you a control temperature so it gives you about plus two plus three degree control temperature it was to be a four minute exposure with a 30 minute dry time again you have three columns time temperature and pressure please familiarize yourself with what these look like on an average 
you start off with your phases. Again, there's four phases, condition, exposure, there is exhaust, and then there's dry time, okay? Um, so the C stands for conditioning, and that can vary. Again, that can fluctuate depending on how cold the package is, um, if there's any moisture in there, which there shouldn't be, um, and things of that nature. You got your temperature, and you see your temperature rising, and then you see how the temperature and the pressure correlates to one another during the conditioning phase so um, it's a little bit different with the conditioning phase than it is in the sterilization phase when it's actually exposing okay as pressure rises so this temperature okay that's not the case with conditioning conditioning does pulses back and forth to remove air inject steam so forth and so forth and get the temperature up to par in the sterilizer so the way you read this is um, you should have that four minute exposure time starting with the first s and ending on the first e all right so if you find that first s Okay, that first S is going to tell you that in this example, the first S started at a time of 745, okay, and then it ended with an E at um, four minutes after, which is 749. My temperature started at 270 and rose all the way up to 274.4, which is higher than the actual control temperature, but that's okay. What you want to look at is that that pressure was that pressure consistent okay or did it jump and fluctuate all over the place that lets you know a little bit more than the actual temperature of course your exhaust and the dry time is never spelled out in time it just gives you that z and that's where your dry time starts again you look at your sterilizer name and what load it was so this was sterilizer number four load number nine okay because the last number in that load it tells you what was the maximum temperature read and the minimum temperature that was uh started at your conditioning time your sterilization time your exhaust and total time of the cycle again these numbers can fluctuate but your sterilization time should not and end with a signature all right guys as always stay true to yourselves keep them 100 continue educating yourself till next time peace